All right, good morning. Oh, are you guys tired? I'm kind of tired too. Let's try that again. Ready? Good morning. Oh yeah, sometimes when you're tired, you just have to pretend that you're not, and then everything will be better, all right? So, uh, <laughs> welcome to chapel. Uh, today, like usually we'd have chapel on the screens, but we are not able to do that today. So, uh, we're going to do a lot of repeat after me kind of stuff. We're going to sing songs that, that you know, um, hopefully by heart, like you don't have to see the words on the screen. All right, but we're going to start like we do every day of chapel in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and all God's people said, amen. Oh yeah, so we're going to stand and we're going to sing, the first song we're going to sing is I Just Want to Be a Sheep, and then we're going to sing the joy song. So if you are, oh, sorry, if you are a big kid who knows the actions, what should you do? The actions, right? The actions. Ready? You guys are so quiet today. Not a bad thing. I'm not, no, no, no. Yeah, not a bad thing. Sorry, teachers. Not a bad thing. Just an observation. <laughs> Here we go. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. I don't want to be a Pharisee. I don't want to be a Pharisee, because they're not fair, you see. <laughs> oh, if you didn't know, when you say that part, you, you pretend to laugh, because it's not actually a funny joke, but you just, it's like a pity laugh, like, <laughs> I don't want to be a Pharisee, so we want to be, I just want to be a sheep, ba, 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba, 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep, ba, 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 ba. I don't want to be a fit Sadducee. I don't want to be a Sadducee. Because there's no Sadducee. Oh, no. Oh, man. I'm not a big fan of crying, so I don't want to be a Sadducee. So what do you want to be? I just want to be a sheep, ba, 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba, 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 ba. And to pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep, ba, 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 ba. We haven't done this one in a while, but I don't want to be a Canaanite. I don't want to be a Canaanite. Because they raise Cain at night. And yeah, you yell straight away. I'll be totally honest. I don't understand why that is. I don't think the word Cain means that. But I don't want to be a Cain at night. So what do you want me? I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. I don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want to be a hypocrite. Because they're not hip with it. Oh, you guys really are tired today. <laughs> I don't want to be a hypocrite. So you want to be? I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, ba, ba. How many of you like to talk? I bet your teachers know that very well. I don't want to be from Babylon. So you want me? I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. I don't want to be a dinosaur. I know. I don't want to be a dinosaur. 
because then I'd be no more. Because all of the dinosaurs, except for maybe lizards and birds, are, are dead. What a grim joke. I don't want to be a dinosaur. So we want to be. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. This one's a tough one. I don't want to be a Dan Rather potato. I don't want to be a Dan Rather potato. Because then I'd be a couch potato. Fun fact. That's right, a couch potato. Dan Rather was a guy on the news, and you sat on your couch and watched him on the news. Mrs. Burns, that's right, isn't it? It is. Yes, sir. So I don't want to be a couch potato. So what do you want to be? I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, yeah, nice job. We're going to do the Joy Song now. Ready? Joy, 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 all the joy. Joy, joy, all the joy. Joy, all the joy, 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 joy. J is for Jesus. O is for others. Why, yay, 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 is for you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, joy. Faster. Joy, 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 all the joy. Take a deep breath. Joy, joy, joy. our sins now, and we're going to do that repeat after me style, all right? So repeat after me, all right? And you can fold your hands if you want to as well, all right? Repeat after me. Dear God, I am a sinner. I sin so much that I do not know all my sins. Lord, I do know some of my sins, and I pray that you forgive me all of my sins, the sins I know and the sins I don't. Wash me clean in the forgiveness given only by Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. So when God hears our prayers, he gives us forgiveness, right? When he hears our prayers for forgiveness, he gives it to us. So you are a, oops, a loved and forgiven child of God. And for that, we say thank you, God. Ready? Thank you, God. All right, you can have a seat. So it's, what day of the month is it? The 1st of March. Yes, indeed. So that means that we're going to celebrate our baptism birthdays. Uh, but before we celebrate our baptism birthdays, there is at least two actual birthdays at peace today. And one of them is Lily, and the other one is, where's Malachi? 
right next to her. All right, cool. So we're going to sing happy birthday to Lily and Malachi. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lily and Malachi. Happy birthday to you. Yay, woohoo. Uh, and happy birthday to anyone else that you know it's, if, if it's their birthday, too. But um, we're also going to celebrate baptism birthday. So if I call your, when I call your name, you can come on up to the front. And we'll sing our song, God's Blessings to You. So in 4K, Ethan Volkman, who was baptized on March 3rd. In 5K, we have Elizabeth Donkey and Mackenzie Packard. Why don't you guys line up starting over on that side? How about that, all right? And then in first grade, we have Annie Weeblehaus. Um, oh, Elizabeth was baptized on March 5th, and Mackenzie on March 12th, and Annie on March 6th. In second grade, we have four of them. Holy moly. Uh, Deja LeBron, baptized on March 15th. Ariel Cease, baptized on March 25th. Nova Sheldon, baptized on March 15th. And Spencer Washako, baptized on March 29th. You guys can start lining up on this side now, okay? Uh, and then in third grade, Garrett Hayek, baptized on March 25th. And in fifth grade, Jacob Brandt, baptized on March 11th. Mason Heckerel, baptized on March 24th. And Ali Seafelt, baptized on March 18th. And then we have two eighth graders. Lexi Pennington, baptized on March 28th, and Sophie Reamer baptized on March 15th. Lots of March 15th baptisms. Very cool. So once, once they come up here, we'll sing God's blessings to you. Almost ready. <laughs> All right, ready? Here we go. God's blessings to you. God's blessings to you. God's blessings, dear friends. God's blessings to you. Oh, yeah. Nice job. You guys can go back to your seats. We can give them a hand, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, and we're going to sing another song. How about that? You guys can stand on up. We're going to sing He Hung Upon a Cross. You guys know this song, right? This, for the most part. I think it'll be, if, if you don't remember it right now, you'll remember it in this.
Three, three people that are going to help me with the Bible readings. So if that's you, if you're a 7th or 8th grader or a 6th grader that received a Bible reading, you're going to come right on up here. Yep, come on down. And you're going to come right up here. And you're going to use this microphone. Uh, who has, or Malachi, you're first because you have the shortest one. All right. So what you're going to do is I want you to read where it comes from. And then go ahead and read the verse, okay? Whenever you're ready. <laughs> you can do it. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Proverbs uh, 16, 16, verse 24. Gracious, wor gracious, <laughs> gracious. gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Oh, yeah, gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Give, can you give Malachi one clap? Just one. No, just, just one. Just one. Try again. Just one. Much better. All right. Well, I, you're not next. Sorry. Allie's next, seventh grade. You're going to, right, oh, wait, yeah. You, wait, you're both seventh graders. Yeah. Mrs. Clayton. All right, no, you're right. Zeke, you're up next. <laughs> James. 3, verse 2 through 6. We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect, able to keep their whole body in check. When we put bits into the mouth of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal or take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. In the same way, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. The tongue is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and it is itself set on fire by hell. All right, awesome. Thank you, Zeke. Can we give Zeke one clap? Oh, yeah. And then, you're up. Colossians 4, 2 through 6. Devote yourself to prayer, being watchful and thankful, and pray for us too, that God may open a door for our message, that we may proclaim the mystery of Jesus for which I am in prison. Pray that I may proclaim the message clearly as I should. You be wise in the way you act toward outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Let your conversation always be filled with grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Can we give her one clap? Oh, yeah. Ah. All right. And uh, we're going to stand for a, the, we're going to read a, a gospel reading. So these are words of Jesus. And out of respect for Jesus, we're going to stand. All right. If you had to pick one, like if you had, if, if you're listening to those verses, there's a theme that's running through those verses. Does anyone know what that theme is offhand? Listening? Hmm. Let's see if you can pick it up with these words from Jesus, all right? So this is from John chapter 13, and this is the verses 34 and 35. Jesus says, A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, as I have loved you so you must love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Can we give one clap for the words of Jesus? All right, you guys can have a seat. So, the theme that we're going to talk about today is, you know, what, what's our theme for school? Maybe let's start there. What's our theme for school, Olive? Making disciples for life. Very good. And we are going to talk today about loving each other. And we're going to talk about that 
in a specific way with our words, right? So in our Bible readings, I'm just going to turn this off. In our Bible readings, the first one says, that this is the one that Malachi read, that gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bone. So what that is telling us is that the words that we say uh, are, like, should be tasty, right? What's your, what's your favorite thing to eat? Yeah, Roxy. Pizza and ice cream. Sometimes I've done that at the same time. Yeah, yeah, all right. Harper. Ice cream. Broccoli? Really? Mrs. Brockman would give you a high five if she were here because she loves broccoli. Brady, what about you? Ice cream sandwiches. Levi. Chicken nuggets. Who loves chicken nuggets? Oh, yeah, me too. I love chicken nuggets. Henry, what do you like? Chicken wings. I'm not a big fan of chicken wings, but good for you. <laughs> yeah. An apple? All right, apples are certainly tasty. Emma? Ramen noodles. I did not have ramen noodles until I was 20 years old. Yeah. Pizza. Desserts. Yeah, just desserts in general. Liam, last one. What? Wings. All right. So you like tasty food because it tastes good, right? And our words are supposed to be tasty, the Bible tells us. They're supposed to be, like when you think of a tasty food, it's tasty because another way that we could say that is it's good, right? The flavors are good in our opinion. And so our words are supposed to be good and helpful and encouraging to other people, right? That verse continues to say there's that gracious words are sweet to the soul and healing to the bones, right? Hmm. And then in James chapter 3, what, uh, what Zeke read, we see that words can be dangerous. Where do words come out of? Where do words come out of? Yeah, Oliver, yeah. The mouth, that's right. So in order to say words, you need your lips to move, right? But you also need your tongue to move. Did you know that? Like if you say certain words, your tongue maybe touches the back of your teeth or maybe it touches the bottom of your front teeth, right? And our tongue, this Bible verse tells us, can do really great things. It can encourage people, but it can also, it says... The tongue is a fire, a world of evil among body parts. Because do we always say nice things? Do we always say things that are tasty? Yes or no? No, indeed, right? We do not always say things that, that are tasty, right? Uh, I have an example of that that I'll show you today. I brought something very special with me. Can anyone, does anyone know what this is? What is this? It's not just a cup. It's a glass cup. It's a mug. It's a mug. Okay. Now, what is on this cup? Um, Batman. Yeah, of course. Right? It's Batman. So, this is a Batman cup from when I was a kid. This came out in like the 90s. And they act it actually came from, what's on the bottom of that? McDonald's. Yeah, came from McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. So, back in the day, the Happy Meal toy was a cup made of glass, right? But... <laughs> The 90s. All right. So I want to think about, for a second, this cup. If, have it, ha, let me slow down a little bit. How many of you have moved before? Has anyone moved to a different house? Yeah. And so I've, I've moved before too. And when you move, when you were, if you were to pack up your glasses, what might you wrap it up in? Yeah, Dane Michaels. Yeah, newspaper, right? I've got some newspaper. And you might wrap it up in some newspaper, right? And why do you wrap it up in newspaper? Why do you wrap it up in newspaper, Athena? <laughs> yeah, so that it, it, to keep it safe, but also so that when it is kept, right, if it were to break, then all of the pieces would be in the newspaper, right? So maybe you do something like that, and you tuck it in like that, right? And then it's kept safe, right? And, and that's, maybe you would do that with all your glasses and then you put them in a box and you keep them nice. And maybe you'd put even more uh, newspaper in there, maybe some bubble wrap, 
right? But you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to pop it yet. So it would just go in there. You probably would duct tape the box, but you don't want to put duct tape on the inside, I don't think. <laughs> right? So we do that with these glasses, right, to protect glasses. Now, I want you to think about this cup for a second as being a person, right? As being a person. So what are cups used for? Evelyn, to drink water or milk or like maybe coffee or something else out of Kool-Aid. Who likes Kool-Aid? Oh yeah, me too. Um, so we put, we put things in a cup and it has a purpose, right? And if this cup were to break, would I be able to drink out of it anymore? No, right? No. And so that's why we try to keep cups safe. And sometimes do we try to keep other people safe? Yeah, right? As a disciple of Jesus, do we try to keep people safe? Yes, indeed, right? We tell them good things, like our Bible verse, uh, Proverbs, says, and sometimes, what about like non-Christians? Are we supposed to keep non-Christians safe with our words too? Yeah, right? That's what Allie read in Colossians, is we need to be cautious, or we need to be mindful of the way that we talk to people that maybe don't know Jesus, right? Right? Because do we always say nice things? No, right? We do not always say nice things. It's kind of like if we were to take a hammer. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can I use that mug anymore? So, could I try to put that cup back together? I could, right? I have, I have every right. I could try and put it back together. Would that take a while? Yeah. Um, what... If I were to put it, that cup back together, uh, I would probably make some mistakes, right? Now, when you break a cup like this, like, is every piece just, is it like a puzzle where you can just put it back together? No, right? So even if I put it all back together, right, if I super glued it all together, what might happen when I put water in it? Way in the back, Raleigh, what might happen? Oh, maybe the super glue will make the water disgusting. Sure. What else might happen? Yeah, the water will leak through, right? That cup is not going to be the same anymore, right? That cup is not probably going to hold as much water as it should. And guess what? We, that happens to us with our words too, right? Where sometimes the words that we use are like a hammer, and they just smash down on somebody else. How many of you have been hurt by someone else's words before? Yeah, me too, right? You don't need to turn and look at your friends, okay? <laughs> right? I've been hurt by words before too. Sometimes uh, words hurt especially more when, even more, <laughs> when they are said by someone that maybe is our friend or someone that we love, right? Or maybe someone we trust. But our words matter. That's kind of what all three of those Bible verses that our friends read say, is that our words matter. Um, Now, can I try to, like if I were to say something really mean to uh, one of my closest friends, could I try and make them feel better? Yeah, right? But does that get rid of the fact that I just did this? No, it does not, right? Is that a good thing to do to try and encourage your friends after we are mean to them? Yes, indeed, that is good. (laughs) Yes. But that can't be the only thing that we do, right? What are some things that, if we were to say something mean to someone, what is something that we should do, Mariah? Say sorry, right? Ask for forgiveness. Who is the only person that can take us from a broken cup into a brand new cup again? Shout out the answer. Jesus, right? God, amen. So we do this all the time. 
And Jesus tells us to do the opposite, right? Jesus says, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. And then he says, by this, by loving each other, and a lot of times, that's with our words, that's how other people are going to know that we know Jesus, right? If we walk around with our hammer of words, and we smash down, I won't do it again, don't worry. (laughs) If we smash down on people with our words in a bad way, are they going to know that we love Jesus? No. Or... Something that's even worse is they might look at us and they might say, I don't like Jesus because Jesus doesn't like me. And does Jesus like everyone? Yes, indeed. Jesus loves everyone, right? And so when we do this, because this is going to happen, where we're going to say mean things and, and all that, we need to ask for forgiveness. We need to ask for forgiveness from the people that we said those mean things to. And we need to ask for forgiveness from God. Right? There's two people that we need to ask for forgiveness from. And when we receive that forgiveness, does it mean that I can then pick up my hammer again and start smashing people? No, indeed not. Right? That's a wonderful thing about forgiveness is that when we receive forgiveness, we are called to go in and do something different than what we just did. So instead of smashing someone down with our words, we are called to maybe protect them with our words, to encourage them with our words, to wrap them up in our words, right? Colossians, uh, which Allie read, says, make the most of every opportunity. Let your words, or it says conversation, but let your words always be filled with grace, with love, with tastefulness, like Malachi read, so that you may know how to Share the love of Jesus with everyone, right? So do you think you and I can do that? Do you think we can do that? Yes, thanks, Mrs. Clayton. (laughs) Yes, indeed, right? We can do that. I think a lot of times we feel like this cup where we're all broken, and that's where we need to be reminded that we have the forgiveness of God, the love of God, which even though I cannot make this cup, Like, there's a lot of tiny pieces on the floor. I'm going to have to get a vacuum. Uh, I cannot make this cup normal again. But Jesus can. And the words of Jesus can. Because his words are perfect. And his words give us forgiveness and give us eternal life. All right? So, let's, let's pray. All right? Lord, we thank you so much for today. We thank you for uh, loving us and for giving us the ability to, to speak And Lord, we pray that you forgive us for not always using our words for your good and your purpose. And we pray, Lord, that you help us uh, to change our ways. Help us to encourage each other and build each other up. And help our, our conversations be filled with your love. So that we can show others that we love you and that you love us. Lord, we pray uh, that you be with us, that you keep us safe today. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, Do we have someone that will bring down the offering? Yes, we do. Perfect. I'll meet you kind of halfway so you don't have to walk on any potential glass. (laughs) Uh, The the, the offerings are going to Garuna. Am I saying that right? Garuna Ministries. Garuna. Garuna Ministries. And I think that we're going to have a friend from there here soon, right? Yes? In a couple weeks. Anyone know? Yes? Okay. (laughs) Perfect. All right. Um, So let's stand, and we're going to say the Lord's Prayer together. All right? Let's pray. Ready? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Oh yeah. And so as a a group of forgiven people, who now know that disciples think 
before they speak, so that we can say good things, we're going to sing Jesus Loves Me. Because again, I figured that that was a song that you all knew. <laughs> we're, we'll sing the first two verses, all right? Ready? Here we go. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. All right, second verse. and keep us and make his face shine upon us and give us his peace. And all God's people said, Amen. All right, I think you guys can have a seat. Are there any announcements? Anything special? From the teachers. Ha ha, you guys always raise your hands. Hilarious. No, put them down. Put them down. Uh, the only announcement is peace still has, we have what we call midweek Lent services. So on Wednesdays at 4 p.m., your family can come to church and learn uh, especially this this next couple weeks about mercy, about receiving the mercy of God. Uh, so you can join us. For that. And then afterward, like today, there's a chili dinner. Does anyone like chili? Yeah. Oh yeah, I love chili. So you can come today uh, and and eat some chili if you want to. That'll happen at probably around 4:45 to maybe 5:30 ish. So um, yes, Mrs. Burns. Friday's pajama day. I had no idea. Oh my, who's excited for pajama day? Wow. How magical. Why is it pajama day? Just because? Oh, it's Dr. Seuss's birthday tomorrow. Well, that's not Friday, but no. Okay, that sounds fun. Exciting. So hopefully you enjoy that. Kyrie, you're not a teacher. You almost fooled me. All right. Uh, with that, we'll dismiss. Please do not come up front here. Yeah, I'm going to, you are not going to be able to come and stand up here, walk up here, okay? So, uh, we'll start with fourth grade in the back by Miss Heimroll. And sixth grade can go by Miss Newsom. If you're in 5K, why don't you come right down here by Mrs. Uh, Lucht or wherever she tells you. Yes, it was mine. <laughs> I have a lot of them. <laughs> That's why I broke it. Third grade, yeah, sorry. 